Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey live in Richmond at the Kroger. We're talking about weather radios and of course the forecast as we inch closer to the weekend. Time is running out for lawmakers to agree on a state budget. We're live in Frankfurt with the latest now at four. And tens of thousands of Verizon employees are on strike. Why they walked off the job today and what the strike means for the telecom giant. We begin with a breaking traffic alert right now in Lexington. The northbound lanes of Interstate 75 are at a standstill near the northern split with I-64 because of a crash. Here's a look at our live traffic camera. We're told the vehicle overturned and possibly was on fire. You just saw the backup on our live drive traffic map. Lexington Traffic Management reports a person in the car was ejected. We do not have any word right now on how long it will take to clear the crash, but we will continue to bring you updates here on WKYT and WKYT.com. It's finally starting to look and feel like spring in the bluegrass. We have a sunny afternoon with temperatures in the mid-60s. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey is live in Richmond with a first look at the forecast. And Chris, it's looking good. Yeah, looking absolutely fantastic. You're right. Temperatures today finally getting to where we should be for this time of year. You mentioned we're in Richmond at Kroger, and look what we are doing again today. It is Midland Weather Alert Radio Day here at Kroger. You get a discount price on these, and we will also program those for free. And by we, I mean Jim and Micah. You see uh, the two of my weather compadres here taking part in this. And uh, we're going to be here through 7 o'clock this evening. So if you're in the Richmond area, or you've got a little while to travel to the Richmond area, hit us up here at Kroger. We'll hook you up with a Midland weather radio that can potentially save your life during severe weather season as things get cranking this spring. Let's look outside, see what it's uh, looking like now into Lexington. That live sky cam over top of Hamburg Pavilion looking good right now. A mix of sun and some high clouds across the region. Those temperatures warming into the middle 60s into most of the area. And that temperature map across the entire region, boy, looking uh, much better than where we have been so far for the month of April. And it only gets better from here as we go through the next several days. Defender radar network, nothing going on, but we broaden out the view a little bit. System across the deep south has a lot of the moisture tied up. Some of that may try to skirt parts of southern Kentucky into the day on Thursday. Most areas, though, should stay on the dry side, but the potential is there for at least a shower tomorrow into southern Kentucky for the rest of the forecast period, taking center stage on your weather headlines. A big warm up for the weekend, and we'll concentrate on that, Jennifer, when I come back in about 15 minutes. We'll see you then. Thank you, Chris. Lawmakers are back at the state capitol this afternoon trying to hammer out a last-minute budget deal. Friday is the last day of the legislative session, and if the House and Senate can't reach an agreement by then, Governor Matt Bevin says he will not call a special session, putting the government at risk for a partial shutdown. WKYT's Victor Puente is live in Frankfurt with the latest on the talks in our top story. Victor? So far, the main parties involved haven't spoken to the media. Their spokespeople told us that's because they were having good momentum with those discussions and they didn't want to interrupt them. Now, the budget conference committee was supposed to begin at 11 this morning, but that keeps getting pushed back. Legislative aides for Senate President Robert Stivers and Speaker of the House Greg Stumbo tell us they've been in private meetings all day discussing the budget. The largest disagreement was originally the cuts to higher education. That seems to have been resolved with both sides tentatively agreeing to a 4.5 percent cut to funding for universities and colleges. While the legislative session doesn't end until Friday, lawmakers only have hours to reach an agreement. That's because it takes around 30 hours to print off a bill so it can be voted on by both chambers. A press conference with Stumbo and Stivers was planned for one, then it was canceled. Their representatives say that's because they're making headway on the budget. We just had private meetings so far today, and um, it sounds like, again, they've been making progress. They want to keep that progress going, keep the momentum going, so they've decided not to call this press conference at this time because there's really nothing new to report. Um. Now, if no budget is passed, the governor could call a special session. Yesterday, he told us he had no intention of doing that because he said he expected a budget would be passed by the end of the week. Live from the Capitol Annex, Victor Puente, WKYT. And if there's not a budget in place for Kentucky by July 1st, the state would go into a partial government shutdown. 
Police have charged an Anderson County man accused of letting his dog starve to death because it was going to the bathroom inside the house. Howard Tinnell is charged with second degree animal cruelty. Police say they found the dog chained up in Tinnell's backyard with no food, water, or shelter. According to court documents, Tinnell told police he was responsible and knew it wasn't the right way to treat an animal. You'll hear from the Lawrenceburg Police Chief on WKYT News at 5. A third suspect charged in connection to a deadly shooting in Lexington last weekend faced a judge this afternoon. 19-year-old Alex Farrell was arraigned at 1 this afternoon. Farrell, Jaden Whalen, and Nicholas Coriachi, who are all UK freshmen, are charged with robbery. Police say the three men and James Gordon plan to rob a man during a drug deal early Saturday morning on Woodland Avenue. When one of them pulled a weapon, police say the man they were meeting shot Coriachi and Gordon. Gordon later died. Lexington police say the shooter is cooperating and has not been charged. Our reporters are working on a number of other stories for WKYT starting at 4.30. Amber Philpott joins us from the newsroom with a look at some of the news in progress. Good afternoon, Amber. Good afternoon to you, Jennifer. An accidental call to 911 ends with two people in jail on drug charges. Police in Lincoln County say dispatchers could hear Holly Bailey and Hobart Riley talking about their drug use on the mistaken call. When a deputy showed up to the home, he found evidence of drug activity, needles, meth, and other paraphernalia. The two are now in the Lincoln County Jail facing numerous drug charges. I do have a problem. That's right, I need to read well, it. Yeah, I've interviewed some people about meth before. I mean, very addictive. It very, is very addictive. Do you have a message for other people because of the situation um, you're in and things like this? Don't ever use meth. I, I mean, actually, don't ever use any drugs at all because uh, it, it'll lead you in a very bad spot. Riley says he does not remember much of what happened and doesn't know why he was with Holly Bailey. You'll hear more from Riley ahead on WKYT News at 530. WKYT has learned a second student at Lexington Catholic High School has come forward claiming he was targeted because he's African American. The student's attorney says the boy was assaulted Monday and withdrew from the school yesterday. We'll have the latest details coming up on WKYT News at 5. We've learned seven children were in a Nicholasville home when it was gutted by fire. No one was hurt when that fire started at a home at West Brown and South Third Streets. The owner of the home called 911 after hearing a loud noise near the water heater. By the time crews arrived, smoke was pouring out of the home and the fire was traveling through the walls. A GoFundMe page has now been started for that family. We'll have the very latest on WKYT News at 430. That's a look at just some of the news in progress. Jennifer, back to you. Thank you, Amber. Now to a story making headlines across the nation at four. Negotiations came to a halt in the Verizon labor dispute. This morning, thousands of workers along the East Coast walked off the job. The strike raises questions about the future of phone services and the effects of a changing technology. Marley Hall has the latest. 39,000 workers walked off the job and streamed into picket lines outside Verizon outlets along the East Coast. The unions have been working without a contract for nearly eight months. They represent workers from the traditional landline units as well as internet and television services. They're fighting against cuts to pension benefits, work transfers, and outsourcing. This is not something that we did lightly. This is something that's basically been forced upon us. To prevent service interruptions, Verizon says it's hired temporary non-union employees to cover for striking workers. But the dispute could be a sign of the company's shifting priorities. Verizon's wireless business is bigger and more profitable than landlines. In fact, the latest government survey finds nearly half of American homes don't even have landlines, just cell phones. Still, longtime workers like Liz Null say they deserve better treatment. We are not looking to gain anything. We're really looking just to keep what we have. Verizon says it's negotiating in good faith and offered wage increases, but that union leaders are ignoring today's digital realities. Marley Hall, CBS News, New York. Verizon says the impact on customers will be minimal, but technology analysts say there could be a slowdown in customer service. It's a high-tech way to find out who's at your door, and police say it's keeping criminals away. Details on the doorbells in WKYT Money Watch. 
And parents can now sit with children on flights at no extra cost. We'll explain on WKYT News at 4. Dare to compare. LG's new OLED TV. $19.99 at Best Buy. Just $16.49 at PRAS. Save $149 over Home Depot on this Amana refrigerator. Plus free gift cards up to $500. Nobody beats PRAS. You've upgraded all your old technology. So what about this? It's time to get into the new with Ford. New lets you see around corners. New gives you a hand when yours are full. New can practically park itself. New is Ford, America's best-selling brand. Now get into an escape, edge, or explore with 0% financing for 60 months. Only at your local Ford store. If your home, office, or church is in need of accessibility, visit the friendly specialist at Transitions Lift and Elevator today. Make an appointment at our drive-in showroom where we'll demonstrate the benefits of our easy-to-use Bruno stair lift system, wheelchair lifts, and elevators before we install them. Our top-of-the-line affordable equipment is easy to use and custom-made to fit any home or business. Transitions Lift and Elevator is a local family-owned company and a factory-trained and certified Bruno dealer serving all of Kentucky. Thank you for this, Ariel. The crayons made a big difference. It may not seem like much to you. But it means the world to us. Kroger stores are increasing local community rewards donations to $3.6 million, and you can help decide where that money goes. Sign up at Kroger.com slash community rewards and link your plus card to the local group that matters most to you. When we all join together, there's nothing we can't do. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Hi, I'm Travis Morgan with North Broadway Auto Sales. We've been in business for over 20 years. We've got over 200 cars in inventory and thousands of happy customers. At North Broadway Auto Sales, we never put GPS tracking devices on our cars. Why pay $500 a month on another car lot when you come here and pay as low as $250 a month? At North Broadway Auto Sales, everybody rides. At North Broadway Auto Sales, todos manejan. Did you know, unlike other blood centers, blood donated with Kentucky Blood Center stays in Kentucky? For Kentucky patients, Kentucky Blood Center is the exclusive provider of blood for patients at your hospital. Visit kybloodcenter.org for more information. Diamond Masters is buying your gold, silver, jewelry, and coins. Now is the time. Sell your rings, watches, chains, flatware, and coins. Diamond Masters is paying the real top dollar. Come in and get paid on the spot today. Diamond Masters, we really do pay more. See the all-new Serta Perfect Sleeper Hybrid Mattress and get the king for the price of a queen. Like this king set, just $12.99. Plus get a three-day, two-night window vacation free. And up to five years, zero interest. Because nobody beats the rats. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. A popular fast food restaurant is coming to Central Kentucky that tops today's WKYT Money Watch. Bojangles Chicken says it will open a new location near the Kroger in Versailles. Construction of the building is already underway. The restaurant will bring more than 30 full and part-time jobs to the area. There are three other Bojangles restaurants in Kentucky in Corbin, London and Franklin. The new restaurant should be open this summer. The KFC Yum Center has been named the eighth largest venue in the nation for ticket sales. Polestar Magazine also ranks the Yum Center as the 22nd largest venue in the world. The center has sold more than 100,000 tickets this quarter. That does not include UofL sporting events or the NCAA basketball tournament games that were hosted at the Yum Center. It may get a little easier for parents to travel with young children. The Senate added an amendment to an FAA bill that requires airlines to allow parents to sit with their children at no extra cost. The move comes as additional fees for premium seating on flights make it difficult for families to reserve seats together. The amendment also requires airlines let pregnant women pre-board. There's a new high-tech way to find out who's at your door. It lets you see, hear, and talk to visitors even when you're not home. The video doorbells are already in more than 300,000 American homes. Chris Martinez explains how police say they're keeping criminals away. Yes, fire department. 
false alarms. We're not home. Stolen packages, attempted burglaries, and even romantic serenades. All captured by Ring's video doorbell. What kind of damn doorbell is this? When visitors press the doorbell or set off the system's motion detector, it sends an alert to the homeowner's smartphone. Last year, Ring partnered with the LAPD as part of a pilot program to reduce burglaries. There we are. And there we are. Robbie O'Donnell is one of the program's participants. She and her husband are survivors of a violent 1980 home invasion. This is what Robbie O'Donnell sees when I ring her doorbell, a clear view of her front porch from her phone, and we can talk back and forth. Los Angeles police say since the Ring Neighborhoods program began, they've seen an estimated 55% drop in crime. Ring's devices are powered by traditional electric wiring or battery, but they do require an internet connection. You're seeing a lot of concerns about what we call the Internet of Things. Smart CNET smart editor smart Dan Ackerman internet. warns that, like all systems dependent on Wi Fi, there is room for error. The biggest vulnerability is really a lot of this new technology where maybe everything is not fully baked yet. Ring says about half of all home robberies occur during the day when no one is there. I'm a criminal, I'm coming to this house. Is it the idea that I'm hearing a voice? The motion detection goes off. I say, why is there someone at my front door at 3 o'clock? No one's supposed to be there. I can now say to the person, can I help you? They have no idea where I am. They leave. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. I'm Deanne Stevens out at Whitaker Bank Ballpark today with more on the sweet things you can do while you're out here at the park. That's when we return here on WKYT. Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey back at the Kroger in Richmond, WKYT Weather Radios. We have folks lined up to get theirs and we're going to program them for free. Oh, I'll talk about the weather when I come back as well. Stay with us. Why the charade? To give people hope, detective. Hope. So I can rip it away from them. You just don't care. How many people you kill? No, I don't. His real name is Hunter Zolomon. He's a convicted serial killer. I'm faster than I've ever been. I can take him down. You can lock up the darkness. Hi, I'm Rob Bromley, inviting WKYT TV viewers on the vacation of your dreams, a land and cruise tour of Alaska, August 5th to the 18th. We'll enjoy a guided tour of Denali National Park, visit Anchorage and Fairbanks, and travel on the White Pass and Yukon Route Railway. We'll also board the MS Bolandam for a spectacular four-night Holland America cruise. All airfare, hotels, and more are included. For a free brochure, call Holiday Vacations at 1-800-826-2266. This is Once, the Tony Award-winning musical about following your heart and your dreams. You cannot miss Once. For five performances, April 22nd through 24th at the Lexington Opera House. You've upgraded all your old technology. So what about this? It's time to get into the new with Ford. New lets you see around corners. New gives you a hand when yours are full. New can practically park itself. New is Ford, America's best-selling brand. Now get into an escape, edge, or explore with 0% financing for 60 months. Only at your local Ford store. It's a motion furniture breakthrough. It's the grand opening of the Southern Motion Gallery at Burke Furniture. Southern Motion is the industry leader in power motion furniture, featuring the adjustable power head and footrest. Grand opening specials like this reclining sofa, just $6.99, or this sofa with power foot and headrest, just $10.99. Special order, no problem. Any fabric, any leather, hundreds of options. Because it's all about choices these days. The grand opening of the Southern Motion Gallery. Just one more reason you're going to love Burke Furniture. The Flooring Gallery, your home's best friend. The Flooring Gallery's warehouse sale means huge savings for you this Friday and Saturday starting at 9 a.m. Find unbelievable values like ceramic tiles starting at 49 cents a square foot, laminate as low as 88 cents a square foot, and carpet remnants starting at $10. Shop early and bring your measurements for best selection during this two-day sale. You can only experience these savings at our Bryant Road location next to Ashley Furniture. The Flooring Gallery, your home's best friend. Jump, slide, and bounce at Lexington's premier children's entertainment center, Monkey Joe's. Enjoy our huge inflatables, toddler zone, and go bananas at the arcade. 
celebrate your birthday party here too. Party big, play great at Monkey Joe's today. Get WKYT news and weather updates on Wild 1039. Now, your hour by hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist here, Chris Bailey. Hey everybody, back here at the uh, Kroger on, uh, in Richmond, and we're here with Midland Weather Radios, where we have a nice discount price on these, and we've got Jim Caldwell, we've got Mike over here. Mike is too busy being, uh, you know, the star over here, taking some selfies and everything else. I may even try I, you know, uh, an on-air selfie right here. All right, here we go. And we're doing... How about that one? There you go. We're doing uh, business here. We're going to program these weather radios for you as well. They could literally save your life in a severe weather situation. So, weather-wise, let's talk about what's going on. By the way, we're here through 7 o'clock this evening. Let's talk about what is going on in terms of the weather. It is a warm day across the entire region. Uh, we've got temperatures that are into the 60s, so finally, this pattern is looking much, much better across central and eastern Kentucky. Overall, it's a good-looking setup with temperatures that will stay on the warm side for the next several days. Defender Radar Network has had nothing going on. at temperature map, though, with those 60s across the entire area. So, looking good, feeling even better out there. Defender, quiet, calm. That is exactly how we like it, and it is likely to stay that way through the next few days. The only problem could be tomorrow into parts of southern Kentucky with a chance for a shower or two with a system that is bypassing us mainly across parts of the Gulf of Mexico and into sections of the Carolinas. So overall, that is a uh, flow that is going to keep a lot of that moisture away from us. Three-day threat track, we look across the region. Next few days, boy, there's really not a whole lot to talk about. So if you're a fan of gorgeous spring weather, we've got you covered not only tomorrow, but into the coming weekend as well. Uh, as well. Let's go hour by hour into the start of that weekend. Tonight, nowhere near as cold as where we were over the past couple of mornings. Upper 30s, low 40s, first thing tomorrow morning with a partly cloudy sky. By the time we hit the afternoon hours, those temperatures will be into the upper 60s may hit 70 where you live, at least a chance of that. And as we fast forward into the day on Friday, temperatures in the 40s to start into the afternoon. You get enough sunshine where you are, low 70s, a good possibility. We go through those Friday evening plans, and overall temperatures will be dropping through the 50s uh, to around 50 degrees by 11 o'clock or so. That'll set the stage for the nice weather this weekend. So if you're heading out to Keeneland this weekend, if you're just making plans to get out and do a little yard work, hey, get after. It. We are uh, looking at this pattern that has a warmer pa uh, look to it with high pressure across the eastern seaboard that is going to give us that warm weather. And there's the Keeneland forecast with temperatures by Sunday that may reach the mid and, dare I say, upper 70s. It's at least a possibility. All right, let's jump to that seven day forecast, show you what we are tracking across the entire region. And it is a forecast period that is likely to be mainly dry through the middle of next week. There's a small chance tomorrow of a shower, Southern Kentucky. There's another chance for a shower or thunderstorm middle of next week across the area, but that chance is a little lower than what we were thinking 24 hours ago. Overall, though, it is a warm pattern that is likely to take us not only through the weekend, but into the early part of next week as well. Right now, let's take a look at how the roads are taking shape across the Bluegrass region. Here's Officer Don. Police are still on the scene of that very serious collision on the interstate. This was on 64 near 75, and traffic on I-64 West is diverted to the right shoulder now as, as they continue to try to clean this up. Now, 64 East is now open, but uh, traffic on 75 South, or right that north, is backed up past Newtown Pike to give you an idea what we're dealing with. Other locations for accidents, Harrodsburg and Burbank, then there's one outbound North Broadway between 5th and 6th Street. Drive times to Versailles looks about normal to Nicholasville, 12 to 15 minutes. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you, Officer Don. Whitaker Bank Ballpark is known as the home of the Lexington Legends team, but it hosts a lot of other events and activities. Deanne Stevens is out at the ballpark to tell us more about it. Hi, Deanne. Good afternoon, guys, from Whitaker Bank Ballpark. You are so right. There are so many activities that take place in this ballpark. Some of them don't even have to do with baseball. Andy Shea is with us. And, Andy, we were out here last week for opening day, and you guys are constantly, you got games all the time. The greatest part is anybody in our community, in and around our community, can enjoy Whitaker Bank Ballpark. So many things to do. You're exactly right. I mean, and that's what it's all about. We've got $1 bleacher tickets, then we've uh, got these beautifully renovated suites. This 
this year. This one that we're in, Big Blue 2, is uh, UK themed. So, I mean, we've got a lot of fun things. These suites come with 22 tickets, three VIP parking passes. I mean, it's a little something for everyone. It is. And when you think about being in a suite, uh, people think that you have to be somebody special to do that. Anybody can be in a suite, right? You're exactly right. I mean, it's something for everyone. We have an awesome kids' birthday suite. We've got all sorts of fun things for company outings, for hangouts, for bachelor or bachelorette parties. We've done it all. You said kids' birthday parties. So my kid can rent a suite for the birthday? Or I guess I got to do that? Yeah, yeah, he probably, you probably would do that for her, but um, no, and it looks amazing. It's got a fun couch, fun paint, everything. I mean, it's very kid-oriented. Okay, so you also have some fun activities uh, throughout this season for the whole family to enjoy. We talked about the kids' corner and school functions. Lots of kiddos uh, have been out here today at Whitaker Bank Ballpark. Our education days are awesome. I mean, we started with one, and now we've grown it to three education day games where it's a 10:05 first pitch, and the kids come out here for a field trip. And I mean, there really is so much math, so much history, so much science in baseball. Um, but then it's also a pretty fun day away from school. Absolutely right. How do folks get more info on Whitaker Bank Ballpark and how they can participate too? LexingtonLegends.com. It's all right there, nice and easy. Coming up at 450, there is a huge event happening this summer that you can participate in here at Whitaker Bank Ballpark. We're going to talk more about that, maybe something called red, white, and boom. And we're moving down to the bullpen when we return at 450. I'm Deanne Stevens out and about. Back to you guys. Thanks, Deanne. A possible side effect of infertility that could put women at risk for breast cancer. That's ahead in better living. Plus, a new warning about the dangers of eating too much fast food. That's next on WKYT News at 4. Tonight's Powerball jackpot is $184 million, and Friday night's Mega Millions jackpot is $80 million. At Frankfurt Toyota, we have new 2016 Camrys. Up to $3,900 off MSRP or 0% financing for 60 months. New 2016 Corollas and RAV4s. Up to $2,200 off MSRP or 0% financing for 60 months. And we'll double your no-cost maintenance to 4 years or 50,000 miles. Frankfurt Toyota. Google rated 4.9 out of 5 stars. Frankfurt Toyota. And online at frankfurttoyota.com. Does this sound like your house? Hi, I'm Dr. Jessica Kress with Commonwealth Smiles and I have an easy and affordable solution for your snoring. Call today for a silent night's sleep. Tired of painting? Go Rhino and you'll never have to paint again. Now you can have the guaranteed protection of Rhino Shield for brick, stucco, wood, or aluminum. And Rhino Shield won't chip, crack, flake, or peel for home or business. Don't paint. Don't vinyl. Go Rhino. No paint. Don't vinyl. Go Rhino Shield. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. Torture of an elderly woman in a nursing home. Her grandmother was being abused. Nationwide, about one in three homes have been cited for abuse. Nursing home abuse happens daily, and our loved ones need protection. If you or someone you love has experienced nursing home abuse, call 800-800-4600. If your loved one has suffered from malnutrition, dehydration, broken bones, or bed sores, don't wait. Call Hughes and Coleman. Call 800-800-4600. You need to act now. Welcome to Carpet One. Visit our area rug showroom featuring 400 room size area rugs. While you're here, check out our in-stock rolls and remnants and save over 50% off carpet and vinyl. Carpet One has it all, and we have it in stock. Come see us. While it's difficult to think about the death of a loved one, the caring people at the Lexington Cemetery make it easier. After all these years, they still offer many spaces for traditional ground burial as well as mausoleum burial. And the Lexington Cemetery has operated its own on-site crematory since 1977. Lexington Cemetery offers many memorialization options, like the scattering garden and niches, and the memorial arbor for remembering those whose remains are elsewhere. Choose the beauty and dignity of the Lexington Cemetery and crematory. It's time for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. Women with a history of infertility have denser breast tissue than other women. A study in the journal Breast Cancer Research says it may be caused by hormone treatments or from the infertility itself. Dense tissue can be a risk factor for developing breast cancer.
People who eat more fast food are exposed to higher levels of a possibly harmful chemical called phthalates. They're used in packaging materials and can leach into processed foods. A study at George Washington University finds people who eat the most fast food have chemical levels as much as 40% higher than others. Google wants to help people find me time, whether it's to chill out, meditate, or do yoga. A new feature on Google Calendar will ask you about what type of goal you have, look at your schedule, and find the best time to do it. And if a conflict comes up, Google will automatically reschedule it. Now let's head back out to Chris, who's in Richmond for another check of the weather on this beautiful Wednesday. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous out here. You know, we're at the Kroger in Richmond, and instead of being inside for our WKYT Midland Weather Alert Radio, uh, we're going to be out here. We've got a tent right out in front of the Kroger on Richmond, or in Richmond, and you can come on out here through 7 o'clock this evening. You get a discount price for a Midland Weather Radio. We will program those for you for free. Now, you got to pay a discount price actually for the weather radio, but those will alert you uh, whenever a watcher warning is issued for your specific county. We'll set you up with whatever counties that you want to be alerted for. Uh, absolutely no alerts from Mother Nature out there today. Picture perfect. Blue skies here in Richmond. A little high cloud cover beginning to stream on in. And that's the current setup across the entire area with temperatures that are into the 60s throughout most of central and eastern Kentucky. Overall, just an absolutely gorgeous afternoon that is wrapping up. That bodes well for our evening. A day that started out with a little patchy frost. We're saying goodbye to all that. And it is full steam ahead now towards springtime in the bluegrass state. We've got the 70s in the forecast. We'll break that down for you in greater detail when I come back a little later on. WKYT News at 4.30 starts right now.